They fight about football, they fight about concerts, and now they're fighting about soccer. The city of Santa Clara once again locking horns with the 49ers. Levi Stadium is among the many venues to host games for the upcoming 2026 World Cup. But the mayor says the 49ers are withholding key information for this mega event. Here's NBC's Ian Cole. The Golden Gate City. There was jubilation when Levi Stadium was selected as a 2026 Men's World Cup site last summer. The planning is in full swing. The 49ers run the city-owned stadium even for non-NFL events. First of all, we're really lucky to be able to host World Cup 2026. But Santa Clara Mayor Lisa Gilmore says the city is still waiting on crucial documents about what they'll need to provide. It's still three years away, but the mayor says it takes a lot of time to prepare for logistics with security and other public services. Super Bowl 50, for example, took three years to plan, and a World Cup is likely to be even bigger. This time by Super Bowl 50, we had full documents, everything was negotiated, we knew what our responsibilities were. She adds Santa Clara, a city with about 130,000 people, has the smallest city government among the World Cup host sites. Not just one game, we could have up to five to seven games here in Santa Clara, each one like a Super Bowl. So it's really important we get this documentation. It's the latest chapter in a long back and forth battle between the mayor and the 49ers. The World Cup Bay Area Host Committee is the one in charge leading up to the mega event, working with the 49ers, and in a statement said we are committed to transparency and have already provided city staff with materials regarding the bid. We look forward to continuing to work with city staff on the remaining documents to ensure that proprietary information is protected. The 49ers are also reportedly in the running to host the Super Bowl in 2026, months before the World Cup. The police chief submitted a letter saying his department needs time to prepare because it would strain their resources and require assistance from other outside agencies, adding the lack of communication is unacceptable. The mayor proposed a legal action to subpoena the FIFA documents, but the council voted against it this week, instead deciding to wait until the new city manager takes over so they can discuss it with the host committee next month and try and resolve the issue. If it can't, the mayor may pursue legal action. In Santa Clara, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.